For today, we are going to discuss this question from SMO2022 Junior Section. Given that x, y are real numbers, we are asked to find the minimum value of this expression. 2x squared plus 4xy plus 5y squared plus 4x plus 10y plus 13. The key idea is completing the square and followed by the idea in inequality. Please have a good try before look at the answer. Pause the video now if you wish to solve it. Keep watching the video once ready. You may notice that the expression involves x and y. Sometimes we can make a guess what is the answer. Let's say for example, when x equals to 0, call this expression as j, j will equal to 5y squared plus 10y plus 13. And by completing the square, this will be 5y plus 1 square plus 8. And obviously, this is greater than or equal to 8. It is clear that 8 is achievable when y equals to negative 1 and x equals to 0. And hence, the minimum value of j is not more than 8. However, this is just a guessing. So we need to find a more rigorous way to get the answer. So for the general x and y, we can write 2x squared x, x squared and x squared, then 4x, write it here, 4xy, write it here. Now we are going to do the completing the square. So we need to plus a 4 here so that later on this can be written as square of x plus 2. Likewise, we can write 4y square so that this can be written as square of x plus 2y. Now we compare again. We have 2x square, 4xy, 4x, we still left with y square, and we have 10y. Similarly, we need to add 25 so that this can be written as square of y plus 5. So now we have actually this is plus 29, but we need only 13. So we need to minus 16. Okay, so as mentioned, this can be written as x plus 2 square, x plus 2y square, y plus 5 square minus 16. Since j is expressed in this way, so this will be greater than or equal to negative 16 because each of the square is greater than or equal to zero. That is correct. However, the equality never holds because if the equality holds, meaning that x plus 2 has to be equal to zero, x plus 2y has to be equal to zero, y plus 5 has to be equal to zero. And we know that this is not going to be happen because the first condition means that x equals to negative 2, the third condition means that y equals to negative 5, and with this x and y, it cannot fulfill the second condition. Therefore, we need to use other methods to get the minimum value of j. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. So we need to use a result from Cauchy inequality. So Cauchy inequality say that summation xi square summation yi square greater or equals to summation xi yi the whole thing square. Uh, each of these is i from 1 to n, i from 1 to n, i from 1 to n. If all yi equals to 1, then this will be summation of 1. So it will be a total of n. So meaning that summation xi square will be greater or equals to summation xi square over n. Now we are going to use this result here. Now looking at this, the first one is x plus 2 squared. We are going to get rid of x and y. In order to do so, x plus 2y can be written as negative x minus 2y. So x will be this later on. And for y plus 5 squared, I will write as 
y plus 5 over 2 square. But I need to write a total of 4 copies. And minus 16. Okay. Using the result there, we know that this will be greater or equals to um, there are all together 6 square. So it will be 1 over 6 and the whole thing square. So inside will be the sum of the, of the terms. So it is x plus 2 plus negative x minus 2y plus there are 4 of them. So it's 4 of y plus 5 over 2 and minus 16. Just copy it. When we do the calculation, x is disappear, negative 2y and positive 2y disappear. What we left is 2 and 10. That is 12. 12 squared is 144. 144 divided by 6 is 24. So this is 24 minus 16. That is equal to 80. I forgot to mention that for the result here, the equality holds if and only if each of the xi the same. So go back to this. Are we able to get it? Yes, from the example that we show, but we also want to do the calculation based on the result. Let me write it here. Equality holds if and only if x plus 2 equals to negative x minus 2y equals to y plus 5 over 2. And because the sum of this is equals to 24, so each of these must be equals to a 4. Uh, take the square root, each of these must be equals to 2. So it means that from here, x is equals to 0 and y is equals to negative 1. And this is exactly what we have just now. So in conclusion, the minimum value of j is equals to 8. And it occurs when x, y equals to 0, negative 1. That's all for today's lesson. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>